going on YouTube my larks is today we're back for another player review on YouTube of course now today we've picked out another card from the road to the final campaign that's come out today Kai Havertz so the one that's got the Champions League winner in last season's Champions League now looking at the card 224k six foot two medium medium four star four star left footed of course let's have a look at his attributes so he's got decent pace 82 acceleration obviously I'm definitely going to put something like that to boost it 91 sprint speed so his acceleration we need to boost obviously shooting seems good as well 89 attack position 88 finishing 81 shot power 84 long shots so that's something we'd need to boost as well maybe I'm thinking of putting a hunter on him boost that pace and shooting straight away passing's good though 87 vision crossing's not too great 78 long part a uh, short pass is 90 long pass 84 curve 90 so Looking at the card, I'm seeing that we're going to be able to do some nice finesses with this, hopefully. Get dribbling as well is good. Agility is 84, which is sort of average. Balance as well. But then again, his reactions 89, 91 ball control, 92 dribbling. He's got 90 composure. So it's ice cool in front of goal. Uh, heading accuracy is 83, which again is good enough to be fair. He's probably going to play in the cam or maybe in the striker role. We'll try him out in both roles. Physical stats, got 86 jumping, 89 stamina, 79 strength. So he's going to have a little bit of a mixture about him. Like I can feel about this card. Player traits, got the finesse shot. Again, I did think that this would be a good card to use for finesses. Playmaker, outside of the foot shot, chip shot, technical dribbler. So you definitely want him centrally. You definitely want him in the cam position. You definitely want him up front. Obviously, with all these traits and attributes that he does have, it'd be a waste if he wasn't playing centrally. So let's look whereabouts we're going to put him in the team. Now, being honest, I feel like this will be a very good formation to get the best out of him. You've got the three midfielders just behind him. Havertz just floating around in that number 10 position, just behind the two strikers, Cantona and Sancho. So I feel like this will be the best formation for him. Obviously, we will try him in a 4-3-3. That's one of my favourite formations. Obviously, it's basically just like a 4-2-3-1. Again, yeah, just sitting in that cam position, just behind Cantona. He's got his wingers as well. So let's take him into a game of rivals and let's see how we get on. Oh, it's a nice little ball through already. Havertz, oh what a start, what a start, literally a little one-two, oh and now he's dancing as well, but look at this though, literally just into him and he just floats in a great position and he just puts it on the back of the net like that, wow, he got a little one-two, again, oh he's just tipped it onto the post, wow it was nearly two and two shots, It's a great pass. There we go, there's the assist. Kai Havertz. Oh, what a pass that is. Oh, it gets his way out of a tight spot. Doesn't want to let him on that left. Oh, he was going on it anyway. It's a great pass. You can see again, Kai Havertz, he just stays in that little spot. But if you can get the ball into him, like I'm doing now, can you time the pass? There you go, he's able to accelerate away. Can he keep his composure? He can't, no. That's a great pass through. There we go, another assist for Havertz. Havertz, yes, he was never going to miss from there, was he? Oh, what a pass. What a pass that is. Oh, and what a finish to finish it off. Wow, what a ball. Oh, there we go, on the right foot volley. Oh, great turn, great little turn. He moves the goalkeeper out of the way, it's a great turn. Great bit of play all round. Oh, Kai Havertz! Kai Havertz has arrived! 
So as we see from the footage, Kai Havertz, I think he's a very good card. Um, I'm not quite sure why he's still 200k. Obviously this card will drop in price, but yeah, for this promo has been out for a few hours now. He's still around 200k. He's got a lot of qualities, obviously. I played the first few games with him with a Hunter. The last two games, I changed it to a Catalyst. I thought, let me improve the passing. As you can see, some of the balls he was playing over the top were unreal. A Hunter or a Catalyst, I'd probably say have the two best chemistry styles to put on this card. To be honest, with the Catalyst on, he was still scoring finesse goals from ridiculous angles, as you see. Left foot, right foot, you know, he can finish sort of either foot, to be honest with you. For me, he's in between a, a centre attacking midfielder and a striker. I don't think he's a striker, but again, as an attacking midfielder, he literally does not move. That is the only problem. The 48 aggression doesn't help because he just sort of just stands in the middle of the pitch. But again, he's another one of them cards. If you can get the ball into him, his passing's very good. His shooting's very good. He's deadly. He's deadly in and around 25 yards out from goal, in and around them areas. If you get the ball to him, he will get you goals and he'll get you assists. Now, like I said, the down points to it are his medium, medium work rates. And he's got the very low aggression, which means he doesn't really move at all. So that's why, as you see in game, I was trying to get the ball into him. L1X passes, so if you L1X, it makes him make a run in behind. So I was trying to get him a little bit further up the pitch. But that is the only downside to this card. You know, like I said, you put that catalyst on him, he's, he's managing to keep up with the quickest players in the game. He was going past Indica, uh, Van Dijk, Konate. These are some of the quickest centre-backs on the game. So he was going past them very, very easily. Let's have a look at some of the cards that will get Havertz in now, a lot of the cards I've chosen, you're going to think, well, I've just chosen Chelsea cards. Anyone can link them cards in. But there is a lot of good Chelsea cards this year. For example, Future Stars, Trevor Chalabar. He is a free card to get in. It's literally, you just need to play squad battles and do some friendly games. And you have an 88 rated CDM. Now, again, he's medium medium, which isn't too much of a problem because you're holding midfielder anyway, because you don't really want him running up the pitch or really running too far back. And like I said, this is a free card, by the way. Look at this card. This would be a card that I would try to get Cavett's in on 10 chem with. Another card, again, one of the best right backs on the game. This is another reason why I've chosen this card. Headliners Reese James. It's just a very, very good card. Look how good it is physically. His defending is very strong. Good pace. With an anchor, you've sort of got an end game right back here. Jorginho, team of the year. Again, this is around 900k now. So if you're lucky enough and you've got a million in the bank, what a very good card you've got. You know, 98 passing, the shot. Obviously, it's a team of the year card. It can play in the cam, centre mid, holding mid. Wherever you want this card to play, it can play. Again, Kante, any form of Kante. I picked his team of the year. But even Kante gold card is a very good card to have in your team. You know, he's unbelievable in this game. This would be a card that I would very, very, very much recommend because it's a hyperlink to him. Obviously, same nation and same team means that he can have two red links to the green link. This is one of the best centre backs on the game. It is around 600 coins. Well, 600,000 coins, should I say. So it's not going to be a cheap uh, card to get in. But if you're lucky enough, you pack this card or you've got him in your team already, this would, like I said, we'll be able to get Havertz in on 10 chem a lot easier. Again, another one, another hyperlink, Timo Werner. This, again, is a very good card. Got good dribbling, good physical stats as well. Look at the stamina, look at the jump. Shooting's good, pace is good. Only problem is he hasn't got the skill moves. But again, high medium, four-star weak foot. It's a very good card to try and get in. I know I've just used all Chelsea players, but these would be the cards that would get Havertz on 10 cam. There's Gunda one from Man City, but these are there's a lot of good alternatives. You know, you've got a right back there, you've got a striker, you've got a centre back, you've got midfielders to get in there with him. So to be honest with you, I wouldn't be looking no further than the Chelsea team really with the special cards that they have. But back to Havertz. I'm going to give him a rating out of 10. I'm going to give him an 8.5. I feel like this is a really good card. I just feel like I expected a little bit more. I feel like if this card, which I expect Chelsea to maybe get to, maybe the semi-finals, which you put two or three pluses on this, this card, it's going to be a very good card. I just expected a little bit more. I just feel like because he doesn't move too much in game, he doesn't make the runs in behind. I know he's medium, medium, but he just really doesn't move. But if you can get him in around 25 yards out from goal, you know, he's going to score finesses, long shots, he can finish, he can he can unlock the fence as well with his passing, you know, he's got very, very good passing. Left and right foot, you know, he's four-star, four-star. He's got all the player traits. Finesse shot, playmaker, outside of the foot, chip shot, technical dribbler. So this is the reason why I thought this would be a really good card. But like I said, the problem is that medium, medium work rates really lets him down. But like I said, 8.5, he's got a chance to go up. They've got Lille in the next round of the Champions League, so you'd expect Chelsea to go through. And then they might get lucky and get a weaker tie in the next next one. So again, it can, it can easily go up to a 91, maybe 92. So I'll have to see what happens. But yeah, 9.5 for Kai Havertz. 
that's all for today's video thanks for tuning in like subscribe comment we're on the road to a thousand subscribers if you are looking to make more coins on fifa looking for more general chat or just wanting some foot champs advice on how to get more wins join my discord the link is in the description below i've teamed up with fifa traders server group like i said there's traders in there there's verified foot players that can help you with tactics help you with what teams to buy and like I said, help you trade money on the game. You know, you're not spending FIFA points trying to get like the best cards on the game, such as Kai Havertz, who's 200k. You might not have 200k. If you're finishing eight wins, you're not going to be able to get that. So yeah, link is in the description below. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, 